as commodity prices continue to get out of reach for the ordinary Ugandan. Due to the hard-hitting economic times, President Museveni is advising to be frugal in their expenditure, especially on imported goods. The correct, the correct action is to kukekeleza, being frugal, kweremba remba, or these are the ones from outside, or kubieso nyiwa, getting alternatives for the non-oil items, for the non-oil items. However, economists say the president should be the first recipient of his own advice, followed by his government. They argue that in these tough economic times, adjustments in government spending are needed, especially in critical areas of the economy. Fugo does not only stop at the household level. I think um, austerity needs to be extended, even to government. Government needs to take a real look at the expenditure, which has proved, proved to be quite high and, and growing within a narrow revenue base. For us to work on, but of course Kukekeleza has to start from our father. You know, if the children have to follow through, they have to see examples from the parents. And the, pres the parents right now being government and headed by our president. In case there are so many meetings by parliament, if it's going to reduce by them at any more Zoom meetings, that's Kukekeza for us. You reduce your way you live because of the times we are living in. So more presidential brigades, parades, where they use more fuel, for me, they will be able to live within their means because of the situation by reducing some of these movements. The same views are held by members of parliament. State House received the trillions of money in budgeted allocations. Would, if, if Mr. Museveni is honest, I would have expected him to say that divert that money to support traders, support border borders, support market vendors. I tell you, for instance, now when you talk about the, the, the distance between bread and cassava, and then you refer us to cassava. Yes, you may refer us to cassava and go and eat cassava, but is the cassava available? But also ask about the cost of cassava. You have to really deal with the priorities. If you are moving from Bududa to Seshi, where I come from, there must be a good reason. And also the things you use at home, domestic things like food, like amenities. The only thing which the president, I think, should have mentioned about is to do with agricultural input. There they, they must be tax review. According to Museven, reducing taxes on imported goods would weaken Uganda's currency against the dollar, whereas reducing taxes on locally manufactured goods will cripple government activities. Well, as Stephen Kaboyo concurs with the president, Dr. Madina Gulova argues that presumptive taxes, such as market dues, can now be waived since they directly affect the common Ugandan. Usually we have this misconception that informal persons don't pay actually taxes, but they do pay in their own way. So we have these taxes that they pay in actual sense the presumptive tax on their small businesses of maybe say 10,000 per day, someone picks 1,500. Um, at the end of the day, it doesn't, he, will not, he or she will not break even. So that's the kind of presumptive tax we are saying. Its volumes in the long run is not so big. It's like 0 0.1 or 0.2% of the total domestic taxes we collect. You can only do that uh, when you have a budget surplus. What we are dealing with now is a budget deficit. Government does not have flexibility in terms of their revenue base. So it's a weak revenue base. Now, if you do cut taxes, and I think the president argued that very well, if you cut taxes now, where will the revenue come from to support other uh, government economic activities? Both Kaboyo and Gulova agree with the president on boosting local production, especially through the import substitution strategy. In the meantime, in terms of production, agricultural production, is to emphasize more on things that people eat every day, um, such that any impact on these prices of food commodities, in actual sense, we call it uh, uh, it's a regressive, regressive taxes. So in case we don't tackle what is causing regressions, then poverty will actually increase. If you're not able to, to you know, beef up uh, production, then you're caught up in a, in a trap. So I think the incentives in that regard are very, very critical. Um, the whole plan of supporting SMEs in terms of, uh, you know, uh, supporting them financially to get out of the COVID effect is also key. Habad Ziwa, NTV.